Taj Wakanda here with Rutgers class of 2022 offensive line commit Taj White big offensive tackle from Hudson Catholic had a strong day out here today was physical manhandled guys I thought physically you, you reminded me a lot of Josh Fred Jackson out of out of uh, St. Joseph uh, and Montvale from a few years back talk a little bit about your experience here today and the type of success you had uh, today it was a good experience for me uh, it showed what I need to work on uh, what I'm gonna see like when I go to other camps and stuff like that uh, I went against a couple kids for offers you know um, I felt like I didn't come out on top in their mind, but in my mind, I came out on top. But it's okay. I, that shows that I got more work to do. Who you been working out with uh, on your technique? Uh, Coach Mack, Pro Edge, um, Coach Muggsy, aka D Johnson. Uh, he played like for like the Green Bay Packers and stuff like that. But right now, he played arena football, and I've been working out with him on my technique. Nice, nice. Let's talk Rutgers. Obviously, you guys just got a massive commit today. Quarterback Gavin Wibsap, a guy that you'll be protecting up front uh, on the offensive line. Talk a little bit about that. How'd that make you feel? And what are you, what are your guys' goals uh, going into 2022? Going into 2022, I feel like this class, the 2022 class for Rutgers, will change the whole environment for Rutgers, the New Jersey community. I feel like we are we are going to come out on top national championships, national champions. Maybe 2024, 2025, any year that we get there. I feel like this um, this group right here that we have is an amazing group and we should be very good on the upcoming years. What, what do you think of Wimsat as a player, what he'll bring to Rutgers? Wimsat as a player, he's a very good quarterback, dual threat, you know, he can run, he can throw, he can do everything. So I feel like he'll make like our offense just more expandable and stuff like that. I feel like landing you guys, they landed the big four offensive linemen to sort of set off the class. I just recently uh, put out a, a post about it called If You Build It, uh, They Will Come. And they certainly are coming. You just got Big Sam Brown, big running back out of Philly uh, about a week ago. And now, obviously, the four-star quarterback in Wimsat, a top 100 guy. Rutgers uh, definitely uh, on a roll here. You actually committed on the first day of the, like, the new recruiting period. So you're one of the guys that kind of set this thing off. Have you been recruiting other guys and trying to help them join you at Rutgers? Yes. Uh, we should have two more offensive linemen come in, maybe one. Uh, uh, I don't want to say no names right now. No, I say names. Uh, maybe Malik McNeil and Jacob Allen. Those are two that we are looking to get. But I've been helping out on Sam because that's like, you know, kind of my right hand man. You know, um, I've been helping out on Gavin Winsat and a couple other players. So I feel like we should be very good in the upcoming years. How you feel Rutgers is doing with those two offensive linemen? You, you think they end up landing uh, McNeil and, and, and Allen? Do you have a good relationship with those two? Yeah, I have not Jacob, but more like McNeil because we work out together. So Malik is a great player. He's a very athletic. 6'8", 350 maybe, a uh, big dude, uh, he can play tackle, and he moves very well. I feel like he should have been out here today, he would have showed y'all, proved a little bit or something, but it's okay, because um, other upcoming camps. But um, I feel like we have a strong chance of getting McNeil, with Jacob Allen, I don't really know, because I don't really know him like that. Well, I appreciate your time, Taj. This is Taj NJ.com, signing off.